Hi Leo, this is your bonus reading for November 2021. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for November 2021. In love. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for November 2021 in love. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for November 2021 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, we all. Leo, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Leo, this is you. This is your partner. So, Leo, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For November 2021, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Leo, is the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Leo, listen, you know, one of you guys can be coming in to apologize to the other to show and prove that you love and care. Yes, you know, it very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. Or this is news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup and pages are children. Clarify the page of cups. For Leo and their partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Leo and their partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Leo and their partner. The hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Leo could be dealing with a Pisces. But listen... You can tell me that you guys are stagnant and someone is changing their perspective, coming in to apologize here. Or listen, we're stagnant because we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some type of news about what love produced. Clarify the pay. I'm sorry, clarify the hangman for Leo and their partner. Clarify the hangman for Leo and their partner. Clarify the hangman for Leo and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Leo. Either we're stagnant and someone is coming in to apologize here, trying to show and prove that we love one another here and we're starting this passionate new beginning. Or we're stagnant because we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love, starting a passionate new beginning somewhere else. Leo, you have the tower. You have temperance. You have the lovers. Your partner has... The Hermit, your partner has the Ace of Cups, and your partner has the Devil. So, Leo, 
the mutual point of interest and in what's on both you guys' minds is Leo. Listen, you know, we may be stagnant, but someone is changing their perspective, coming in to apologize, trying to show and prove that they love and care, and we start this passion in the beginning. We start over, okay? Apology accepted. However, Leo, we could be stagnant because we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love that they started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. So, Leo, you have the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So, Leo, listen, you know, some type of shocking revelation taking place here. Okay, something is being exposed. Or this is a breakup. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower for Leo. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, listen, Leo, something could be happening quickly here. It could be that something is being exposed that took place during travel. However, Leo, you guys could have been using this energy here to throw fiery dots at one another with some type of passionate communication. Some type of shakeup happening here could cause a breakup. This could also be passionate communication. But you could also tell me it's a shocking revelation that someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else that is causing this, you know, shocking revelation, but also a breakup. Leo, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Leo could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but listen, you can tell me that, hey, I need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that I'm holding out hope and faith that we can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile here. You could also tell me that, listen, there's a need to be patient. Clarify temperance for Leo. Clarify temperance for Leo. Clarify temperance. For Leo, it is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift. Anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings here. So listen, Leo, listen. You guys could have got into this heated discussion or argument here over some type of money, assets, resources, property, and some type of negotiations or compromise. Something may have gone on here. However, Leo, is it something coming into you? And who is it coming from? This can be an offer for an invite out, you know, for dinner and a movie, accepting a gift here. But maybe you need to be patient, okay? We'll see because it could also be someone wanting to reconcile here, okay? Leo, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but listen, you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull between you, but you could also tell me that there was another other lover here. Clarify the lovers for Leo. Clarify the lovers for Leo. Clarify the lovers for Leo. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. For Leo. Clarify the King of Swords. For Leo. Clarify the King of Swords. For Leo. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So listen... Hmm, Leo, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance, but listen, are you wanting to come forth with truthful communication of something that happened at a distance with another other lover? <sighs> Leo, you can tell me a cycle is closing out completely here. You're making this decision because there was another other lover or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower for Leo. It is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Leo, listen. Hmm. First of all, you could have an invite here or something, uh, some type of token of love or a gift or something coming into you and from someone else. And I feel like you're kind of closed off to it right now. You're holding back, trying to be patient. But, Leo, listen, you could also tell me that you're making a decision to close out a cycle and be closed off from this person here because they had another other lover. However, I don't know, because are you wanting to come forth with truthful communication? Because you're wanting to come back around again. You're wanting to come clean from something that you kept close to your chest concerning another other lover. I mean, did something happen at a distance? Leo, listen, yes. I feel like we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. This is the reason why we went stagnant. It was a breakup and a cycle closed out here. We may be possibly trying to start new here, okay? We may be. I feel like someone may have started a passionate new beginning at a distance with another other lover, but we may be trying to start new. We'll see what your partner has to say. Leo, your partner has the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But your partner's taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching their inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need some me time here. Your partner could tell me I'm doing some heavy duty soul searching or they went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Leo's partner. Clarify the hermit. For Leo's partner, clarify the hermit. For Leo's partner, it is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So, Leo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're really thinking long and hard because maybe you guys had a lot of tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Your partner could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching concerning some type of mind games and manipulation that took place. However, when we're dealing with the Five of Swords, this is spiteful, vengeful energy. And I hope your partner's not meditating on some type of revenge. Why are they mad? They seem to be mad. Leo, your partner has the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. 
a brand new beginning and a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love or a blessing. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Leo's partner. Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So, Leo, listen. If this is you offering this cup of love here, wanting to reconcile here, coming in with some type of token of love, wanting to start over with this partner, this partner is kind of guarded. They're suspicious. Their guard is up here. However, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious that you had new love. Remember I asked, was it something at a distance? Is it something that you're keeping close to your chest about another other lover at a distance here? Hi, Leo. Your partner has the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Leo could be dealing with a Capricorn, but your partner could tell me that something is toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Leo's partner. Clarify the devil for Leo's partner. Clarify the devil for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse here. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You know, Leo, your partner can tell me that they're tempted here because you guys have some type of stability to put it behind you guys and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. But I look at your partner's actions here, okay? So I feel like your partner is saying because something is toxic here that they want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. It just seems like since your partner is so guarded and standoffish and they, have some, they feel some type of way, it's almost like they're reflecting the blame on you and so if they're reflecting the blame on you then i feel like maybe a cycle is closing out over something that happened at a distance with another other lover and i feel like it's something that you're keeping close to your chest here 
I don't know, maybe you receive something here or uh, some type of invite from this other lover, but your partner has a, a wimp of it. Listen, Leo, I feel like we found love messages and heard the news of you sharing love. This is the reason why you guys are stagnant, that you started a passionate new beginning somewhere. I just don't see... I just don't see your partner coming in. It could very well be you wanting to start over and apologize here. But your partner seems to have their back turned. It's just like they have their back turned and they have their guard up. Like, they're not trusting at all. Leo, this is your bonus reading for November 2021. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.